Good morning. So the first thing we're going to do today is the six movements of the spine. So the six movements of the spine, get the crunchiness out of your spine, uh, keep your spine healthy so that way it can, continues to be a little bit more mobile. Um, honor your body, honor where you are today. I do have a block, I'm going to demonstrate um, how to use this. You can use a book in your house or don't use it at all. I'm going to give options. So six movements of the spine. We're going to start off in tabletop. So with tabletop, make sure your hands are underneath your shoulders, pressing them in, dialing them like you're unscrewing a jar. So dialing them in. Maybe those elbows come close together, maybe not. Um, my shoulders are a little crunchy. They don't come too close. These areas of my elbows do not meet one another without it being super uncomfortable. So that's not how my body works. So just honor where you are today. Bring your knees underneath your hips. We're gonna start with new cat cow. So pressing your hands into the earth, into your mat. Inhale your heart through. Maybe your gaze goes up, tailbone reaches for the sky. Exhale, tuck that tailbone. Roll the spine like a Halloween cat. Pressing into the earth all the time. Inhale through. This has been super crunchy for me lately. I've been doing a lot of yard work or sitting. So moving with your own breath, inhale, bring your heart through, bring the tailbone up to the sky, maybe look up, exhale, round deep, inhale through, three more with your own breath, last one, make it good. Coming back to a neutral spine. Pressing those hands into the earth, you're gonna take your tailbone, your bottom, like shaking your tail feathers, and you're gonna kick it out to the left and look back. So making that C shape or half moon shape with your left side of your body. Inhale, come back through center. Do it on the right. Kicking that right hip bone out, looking over that right shoulder. Come back through center. Continue with your own breath. Pressing your feet into the earth. Inhale that right arm high to the sky. Looking up. And then exhale, thread that needle through. Your shoulder may come to the floor, or you can use a block. Your head may come to the floor, or you can use a block. Or, other option, if everything comes to the floor, you can extend that left arm out long, pressing it into a block, really extending that left side body. Press the hand into the earth. No matter where it is, it can stay in front of your face. Pressing it in as you inhale. And as you exhale, twist at that lower abdomen, right where your belly button is. And maybe your gaze goes over your left shoulder. So each inhale, you lengthen. Each exhale, you twist a little bit more. Really feeling that twisting, that digging in of the organs massaging them one more deep inhale here bring that left hand in front of your face if it has moved press it into the earth and inhale that right arm up to the sky again unravel press it down stacking everything again neutralizing the spine unraveling Press your right hand into the earth and inhale that left hand high to the sky. Exhale, twist, knowing each side is different. So coming to your edge on this side. I do prefer to have my right arm extended. 
extended, really lengthening that side body where we like to jump if we sit a lot. Remember, each inhale lengthens, each exhale twists a little bit more. face if it is extended, press it into the earth and inhale, unwrap, come back to neutral, press back into child's, bringing your tailbone towards your heels, drop your head, release your back. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you all soon.